Kirby's Return to Dreamland is a game I am very fond of. I played it when I was younger, and it's one of the few Wii games I remember a lot about. I recently decided to play it again, and that's what I'm here to talk about today. Before we get into it though, can I just say that the world names in this game are just bonkers? Like why is this water world called Onion Ocean? Like I understand that it's an ocean themed level, but there are no onions to be seen. And this goes for almost all of the world names too, like why is it called Raisin Ruins? There are, there are no raisins, Kirby. Dangerous Dinner? Who is having dinner? I, I need to know, Kirby. Wait, no, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry, please don't. Sorry about that, folks. I had to relearn how to speak English. Anyways, let's move on. Kirby's Return to Dreamland is, at this point, one of the only Kirby games I have completed. Despite this, I truly believe I am the biggest Kirby fan in the known universe. Um, actually, I love Kirby more- NO YOU DO NOT! On this adventure, Kirby runs into some absolute bastard who crashes his ship into Planet Popstar. Your goal is then to find all of these ships missing pieces to repair the ship and help this dude return home, and he even promises that he'll take you to visit. On the way, you'll find these gear things, and if you collect enough of them, you'll get cool unlockables like rooms to choose an ability, challenges for certain abilities, and even some mini games to play with friends. There will be one ship part on each world that you will get after defeating a boss, and as previously mentioned, these world names make no sense, but wh whatever. After you repair the ship, Evil Bastard takes you to his home planet, and you get shot down by some dragons. You are then tasked with taking them out. After you defeat these guys, this stupid little blue bitch takes the crown that they were wearing, which is super powerful, and tells you how he manipulated you into doing all of this for him. King DDD's face is exactly how I felt in this moment. I felt betrayed and I was angry. It's really not that deep, bro. It's a children's game. What the fuck? You just... I, I need to go to the hospital. Why? It's not that deep, bro. I remember this happening when I was a kid and it infuriated me. I felt a genuine hatred for this fucker and after this you have to fight him. Unfortunately, 8 year old me was unable to beat this cuphead flying section as there were too many moving parts for my underdeveloped brain to comprehend. And I'm pretty sure I cried after like 20 attempts. Fortunately though, I am now capable of processing more than one thing at a time and I was able to beat this stupid fucker once and for all. The boss had three stages, and they were genuinely difficult, which surprised me as this is a Kirby game. Wow bro, you found the final boss hard? You must really suck. <laughs> That's essentially the entire plot of this game. After committing mass genocide on Planet Popstar, just to help out some evil dude get power, you save the day. Actually, that's a pretty common theme in Kirby games. Kirby commits mass genocide, releases an evil beyond human comprehension, and then destroys that evil. Return to Dreamland had very interesting gameplay, and I actually enjoyed it a lot. There are many power-ups in the game, and they're all just awesome, besides the sleeping one, which does literally nothing. When I was younger, my personal favorite was the hammer power, but now I'd have to say the fighter power up is my favorite. You just beat the shit out of the innocent creatures of dreamland. Okay, but also the evil ones, so it's okay. There are also these mega awesome power ups that take an already existing power and increase its superness by 100%. You have a giant sword that you can slash enemies and terrain with. You can bring forward a giant dragon flame. You can roll around and then make a snowman. You can smash the ground with the biggest hammer you've seen in your life. You can summon an orb of magic that you can control, and I'm pretty sure that's all of them. My only complaint with these is that I wish there were more, and I wish they were used more often because holy shit you feel like an actual god while using some of these. The music in this game just goes so hard, as expected from Nintendo. Banger after banger, I loved every single song in this game soundtrack. From the chilly solitude of Aurora area, or the intense pressure of Under My Control, it's all perfect. Overall, Kirby's Return to Dreamland is amazing. I loved it when I was a kid and I love it now. I'm super glad I replayed it and beat it. This game will take you on a wild ride and I really recommend you try it out. And as always, have a good day.